In this problem, we're asked to evaluate six radical expressions. So the first expression we're asked to evaluate is the square root of 9. And what that is asking is what squared or what times itself would equal 9. And the answer is, would be 3 because 3 times 3 equals 9. And then the second one is the negative square root of 16. So again, we have to figure out what times itself equals 16, and that would be 4, because 4 times 4 equals 16. And then you have the negative on the outside, so you have to make sure to include that in your answer, giving you a negative 4. And then in this one, you have the negative square root of a negative 25. So right from the start, we know that this is not going to be real, because you can't have a square root of a negative number, because you can't get have a number squared give you a negative answer. Because if you were to do 5 squared, you wouldn't get negative 25, you get tw positive 25. And same with a negative 5 squared, a negative 5 times a negative 5 would give you a positive 25, not a negative 25. So therefore the answer can be, it's not going to be a real number. And then for this one, you have the square root of 9 over 100. And you can break that down to the square root of 9 over the square root of 100. And we already figured out that the square root of 9 is 3, because 3 times 3 equals 9. So the square root of 100 would be 10, because 10 times 10 equals 100, giving you with the answer 3 tenths. And then in this one, you want to figure out the cube root of 125. So you want to figure out what cubed equals 125, and that would be 5, because 5 times 5 times 5 gives you 125. And then on the last one, you want to figure out the cube root of a negative 8. And you can have a cube root of a negative number, because as you can see, a negative 2 times a negative 2 times a negative 2 will give you a negative 8. So your answer would be a negative 2. That's it.